Okay, so a couple of significant aspects of today. It's Father's Day. Yeah. So, so you're a dad, you're a granddad, you had a dad. What does it mean to you? Well, it means a lot to me because my dad was, was the most influential, you know, male figure of my, yeah. in my life. You know, it wasn't always a great relationship, was it? Yeah, yeah, it was always, always. a great relationship until until I signed pro ball. Right. From, from 18 to 21, it was it was mostly on me because my dad didn't want me to sign, and uh, so you know my dad took our, you know my contract to court, and so they uh, invoked the Jackie Coogan child prodigy law, where the state of California was my trustee over my affairs till I was 21, and uh, then my money tripled. And that's when, I, that's when I started watching the stock market. <laughs> so all of a sudden, my dad wasn't this mean guy anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> so and then we got we got close again Good. after that. Well, I got close again. You know, my dad was always close to me. But, you know, right. when you're 18, it's like, yeah. I'm grown now. I can do what I want to do. But you're still <laughs> not a man. But it ended really well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Today is Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. We're in the state of Texas. Mm -hmm. You're obviously a black man, as you told us a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Can't change that. What does this day mean in that sense? Well, it means a lot. It means it means a lot, you know, to to African Americans because that's the day that we're supposed to be free, even though it was it was more in in words than it was in, in action. And my mom, being a black American history teacher yeah. in California, you know, we used to practice Juneteenth in our house. And then when I went down to <clears throat> to Galveston last year, mm -hmm. where they had the Juneteenth, but I missed that celebration. I was because I was playing ball, but I could feel the, you know, the spiritual vibes, and and I know it's practiced big time in in Texas. I look around your office. I see dogs. I see wine. Yeah. I see musicians. Like, yeah. is, is there is there one that stands out? One that you kind of well, look at each day? Yeah, but you know something. I don't have as much as I usually did because I got tired. Of <laughs> The, the, the picture. round desk no, is gone. No, I got tired of taking the pictures down. <laughs> <laughs> from moving. Yeah, from moving. You know what I mean? And so the dogs, Kurt Manwaring gave me that. He knows I like to hunt and fish. Yep. And I lost my two dogs last year. Oh, you did? Yeah, Sorry to hear that. yeah man, while I was gone. And uh, Kurt Manwaring gave me that that puzzle. Uh, that's some of my main men, Jimi Hendrix up there, and Bob Marley, who I saw. I've seen both of those in concert. It was, uh, years ago, Jolly Hooker was my... It was my pot and I used to go hang out at his house. And, really? Uh, at his house? Yeah, his house. And, uh, and um, at that time, he lived in Los Altos Hills. And that's Gary Clark Jr., you know, like one of the, one of the top young guys. I haven't seen him. That came uh, as a present from, you know, from one of my partners. And, you know, I got my wine here to, you know, to give to different guys. and Baker Family Wines. Yeah. I mean, did you ever think it'd be Baker Family Wines? No, I didn't. And, it, and, then, I, and then Hank Aaron joined Baker Family Wines. And uh, this is one that comes from my house. I mean, this one is one that I work out in the yard for. The others, we, you know, we outsource them and, you know, bring in the grapes. And, uh, so this, you is know, better, fun. this is better than all... It's the most work. It's the most work. <laughs> so I guess that Which makes make it, it the best. That makes it the best. But see, the, and then I have like, uh, I have like my grandson here. This is during the during the uh, COVID yep, yep. time when my son was 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 in the stands and my grandson, you know, were in the stands behind our uh, our dugout. You know, when they had all those cardboard. I remember. Cutouts. Yes. Yeah, and then and then I got. <laughs> of course, I remember. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> and this is one that keeps me motivated. Is this is. Bill Walsh's Last Supper. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, he really helped me out when I first started out managing. And, you know, Joe was at the at the dinner, and so was Bill Ring and Eric Wright and, and his administrative assistant, um, and, and Dwight Clark. You know, he's not here anymore. Yeah. And uh, then I got, you know, like sometimes, sometimes I talk to him, and then I got, I got my grandson right here. I mean, this is. That's, all, that's it, right? Oh, yeah. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> now I got two. Yeah, I got one that's three months old, that's and uh, oh yeah. So you know, we're I'm not brainwashing you, but you see, he has <laughs> astro stuff. I on. see that. <laughs> yeah, and then I have like, uh, and then I have like, uh, you know, like from Palm Sunday. Yeah. And I have like some. Um, I, I'm t you know lot. knowing you the way we do, yeah. and for so many years, it strikes me that your your end game is about the relationships that you've established, mm -hmm. that you've had family, friends, coworkers. I mean, that if I think of you. I think of like the connector. This guy is connected to so many people. You answered a question by starting out. Well, I remember talking to Sadaharo O. Mm -hmm. Nobody starts an answer like that, but right. you can do that with so many people. Well, 
I mean, you know, so I hope they don't think I was name dropping. Like, no, no, you don't. You, but no. you could. You know, so, yeah. you know everybody yeah. well, intimately. Well, but there was a there was a time when I was seeking his help on certain things, and uh, uh, you know that, that that talk with Sadhana O was by the swimming pool when I was a player, and he was explaining to me about how if your mind's not clear, the ball is a full moon and it was glistening in the pool, and. Uh, and he says, that's what the ball looks like when you don't have a clear clear mind. And then it went stopped. And then there was just one big moon in the pool. And he said, no, this is what the ball looks like when you're focused and when you're relaxed and when you have a clear mind. And so, like, I've tried to pass that on to some of our guys. And uh, they probably get tired of me talking about Hank Aaron stuff. But, you know, he taught me so much uh, in life and, and in baseball. Nobody gets tired of hearing that. Yeah, I got you. Nobody does. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.